Hey guys, so today is a beautiful sunny spring day and I have decided to take a walk to the lake. Um, I have already left my apartment and I just said why not just film my journey to the lake. It's quite long. Um, I grew up with the bus but since it's a sunny day i've decided to walk so yeah come with me this is a it's just a street around my area i live in leipzig in the eastern part of germany it's about two hours um approximately one hour 30 minutes to two hours to berlin but i prefer leipzig to berlin because leipzig is a big city but it's not as crowded as berlin and it's much cleaner every time i visit berlin i always think oh i just want to go back to leipzig you know the people are a little bit one step behind but you know it is what it is it's eastern germany what do you expect but i love it i love the city it's clean and i like the, part, the fact that i live at the end of the city so a lot of greenery as you can see well this is the road to the lake so there is much more to the city but this is the way to the lake and i'm just walking around and taking you guys with me so yeah over there you can see Aldi now I have to wait for the lamp you know right now I'm really thirsty I could just go over to um, Aldi and then get like a, a soft drink but the most annoying part of all this time of the of the here all this time is that if I go there I have to take a trolley probably just to get a small bottle of juice so yeah that would be difficult I don't want to go wait on the line or take a trolley just to go get a small bottle of juice so I'm not doing that uh, it's a lot of greenery. I love my city. I love Leipzig. And I love the fact that I live at the end of the outside of the city. I just love the greenery. Coming from Africa, this I love to see trees because it reminds me a lot about home. You know, when I'm in the city, it's all fine, the shopping malls, but that's just not me. So I really do enjoy the fact, I really do like the fact that I could go to the city when I want and at the same time come back to my part of this, uh, to my apartment where it's really far away from the bus of the city and just relax. That I love very, very much. So there's a lot of greenery as you can see it's a beautiful spring day in fact it's summer already and yeah it's about three kilometers or that two and yeah i'm just gonna keep walking i have i will cross the road and then get into i'm right now walking along the main road i'm gonna cross to get into the a small road that is not in the main road but somewhere which is much more um better i remember in the summer i'll show you guys for the minute
this is a small path that leads to the lake it's close to the autobahn but I just I prefer walking here so it's all bushy which I like I mean your girl is a village girl <laughs> I love the bushes it just reminds me of home a lot and sometimes in the summer there are some fruits or like apples that grow along these bushes and sometimes when we walk to the lake with my friend we would get into the bush and just look for apples or berries or whatever we find we don't even know if they're edible or not we would do that but this time around there's nothing there's usually some kind of fruits that grow on this tree I remember but now there's apparently nothing there just absolutely gorgeous I love it I still have a long way to the lake but I'm enjoying every bit of it Kukma first gift here finished To be honest, I enjoy walking on this path. In the winter, sometimes I run here from my apartment to the lake. Um, the truth is, sometimes I get scared because it's far away from the road. But it's better than just running very close to the roads with the cars and things like that. But, oh wow, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh yes, yeah, a woman. going mama you know what they say curiosity kills the what the cat okay but no I'm not taking this path I just want to see what's happening here Wasser wissenschaftliche Anlage. Ah ja. Wir gehen zurück.
here at another crossroad uh, almost there almost there at this point we are almost at the lake I could go like this but I'm not sure <laughs> if I'm allowed to so I'm just gonna go the normal way and there you have Lido Lido loans Zish if you know if you live in Germany you know that I actually love to shop at Lido If you live in in Germany, let me know which is your favorite supermarket to shop at. You know, I love Lidl because it's it's cheap and it's kind of one stop. Reve is like one stop. It's more one stop than Lidl, but it's a little expensive. As for Edeka, except there's nothing around me, I don't go to Edeka. <laughs> Aldi, I love Aldi, but Aldi usually doesn't have everything that I need. You know when you want to go shopping, you just want to go to a supermarket and get everything? That's not Aldi. Aldi have a lot of things, but sometimes I go there, I realize that I need to go somewhere else to get most of the things that I, some of the other things that I need. And then there is Neto, of course, which is extremely cheap, but also the same problem. You would have to go to Neto and then go maybe to Audi again to get some of the things that you need. Maybe it's okay for the German people, but I usually don't find everything I need, especially when it comes to like detergent or protein. I usually don't find the kind of protein that I need. There's usually not chicken wings in my netto, I don't know, or pork belly. Pork belly, I have to go mostly uh, um, to Reve to find the kind of pork belly that I like. So, yeah, it just depends on what you want. If you want everything at one point, then you can go to, you can go to Reve and you find everything there. But if you want cheap, all the Edeka lead are very cheap but sometimes you would have to go somewhere else to get the rest however Lida recently I find everything there it's amazing but I don't have Lida really close to me I actually have Neto at the back of my apartment so in as much as I don't like going there I mean it's convenient but then I find myself walking again or go in again to Reve to get the, the rest of the things that I need and so we are getting close to the lake Schiff Restaurant Zetestrasse it's a restaurant and cafe I'm gonna show you guys it's like a ship standing close to the near the lake and it's like a restaurant ouch my arm hurts finally we are almost there you can come here with a car or with a bus or whatever you want but it's just a nice walk you know and i enjoy it Yeah, there's a tiny tiny river that has gone dry too bad I think in the winter or autumn there's usually some water running here but yeah it's not even summer yet and the river is gone dry
there's a park place here, a park plaza. You can park with a, a park shrine. Yeah, I remember I came here once with my friend and then we had to, of course, park here, which is normal. Here you have the ship restaurant and guess what we are here at the lake finally arrived so if you're here and you want to eat something that's a restaurant that I don't know how How amazing is that? Look at that. Oh man. It's beautiful. Taking my my shoes off. Let's go. It's amazing. I love it. This is called Kukwitze Zee. Zee in German is lake. It's not the biggest, but it's the closest to my apartment and I am I am grateful for it. We don't have a lot of beach here. I'm going to go down and walk on the sand. Because I don't want to step on dog poop. So, there you go. Not many people on the lake during this time, which as expected. Oh my god, I haven't felt the sand caress the sole of my feet for a very long time. I bet you this water is cold. Yes, it is cold. We're gonna walk a little and we'll just have a view of our lake in Leipzig. If you come to Leipzig, this is really easy to get to. Um, from the main station, you can take tram one. It's it's a direct ride, and then. You just get up at the end of the tram stop. At the end of the tram stop, and then the end Haltestelle, and then you can walk maybe about two to three hundred um, meters. It's not that bad, a little bit far, but it's okay. Not my pedicure, guys. There they go. There is not a lot of beach. This is the most you can get. But it's a man-made lake and it's Germany. You can really compare it to Thailand or Asia. You know, when I first moved here, People like, oh, there's a lake by, if there's a lake in that area you move into. And I was so excited, you know, coming from Thailand, I was expected to see like a white sand beach or something like that. But man, this is what you get. And I really appreciate it. There are other lakes with much uh, bigger beaches, but this is the closest to my apartment, which I love. Just take a look at the amazing right oh. 
so guys this is the cook pizza lake in Brunel in Leipzig eastern part of Germany I hope you've enjoyed coming here with me walking through the the path with so many trees and greenery I love it and so I'm just gonna take this moment and I'm going to look for a place and sit down and just soak in the sun for a little bit Bye.